Hey guys, welcome to another guide with me, Kitty, aka Ben. And today we'll be looking at how to win by elimination. That means destroying all the enemy robots. And if you ask me why does this matter, why is this so important, uh, it brings out stronger mid-game battles um, towards your team. And during the mid-game, you're able to overtake beacons easier when they're down on robots. You never know what kind of players that you'll be facing in future. And this is a great playstyle against aggressive players that like to cap maybe 4 beacons in the beginning to win. So I've prepared about 6 tips and let's get right into it. First tip here I got is focusing on destroying enemies first robots. Most first robots end up being beacon runners and they end up playing very carelessly. And many players usually go after third beacon and obviously that is an advantage. But it's also an easy, easiest time to destroy enemy's first robot. And this is a footage of me and uh, most of my teammates are also going after enemy's first robot. Also keep in mind that you're getting head start in filling up that titan gauge by getting kills and damage. So the second one is a little bit more general than the first one and it's play to engage more than once. Under the strategy of trying to win by elimination, one of your robot has to destroy more than one of enemy's robots. So in order to engage more than once, you need to keep your distance against enemies and basically engage at a distance. Go in when you know you can win that engagement for sure. Go in when you need to switch robots and the current one isn't contributing enough. Go in when your second beacon is in danger. and. Um, by looking at multiple enemies, I wasn't able to go in and win that engagement. So I had to stay around the perimeter. And even though I didn't go in with my ability, I repositioned myself in order to take out enemy robots. The third tip I have prepared is low health robots must go first. There are many things that even low health robots can do and you actually want enemy players to move on to the next robot. The fourth tip is stack adamant pilot skills and when you're trying to eliminate enemy's robot you're basically focusing more on destroying enemy's robot rather than capping 3 or 4 beacon against enemies. So in case of when enemies have 3 beacons against your team, um, the adamant pilot skills do get triggered and adamant pilot skills help your robots uh, spec and boost up your robots in various ways so you can outperform enemies robots when they have 3 beacons on you. The fifth tip is choose short reload weapons such as Redeemer, Tarans, um, the list kind of goes on and you, this is very crucial when, you're, when you constantly have to uh, eliminate enemies and the short reload time really help you contribute to destroying enemies uh, much more. And here's a footage of a dynamic battle and the reload, 5 seconds reload time on the igniter in this case really helps out continuing to contribute to destroy enemy's robot. On number 6 is uh, play aggressive when number 1 when there are less than 6 enemy players and number 2 time and beacon gauge are running out against your team and number 1 just basically means that enemies are running out of their robots and this um, the more robots they lose the less active and aggressive they play towards mid and final moments of the match so basically this is when you want to execute the strategy in order to cap uh, victory.
Last but not least, on number 7, have Titan counter in your hangar. Currently, Titans are the tankiest robots in the game, and it's always best to prepare a build against them. Aujun is definitely a popular one. In this particular case, I'm able to bypass Arthur's shield with my fire weapons, and I'm able to protect myself with uh, Ares shield because uh, the Titans don't have active module such as shield breaker. So as long as you have your own version of Titan counter, you're one step closer to preparing for this type of strategy. Thank you guys for watching this guide and I also have channel of my own so search up KittyWR on YouTube and if you like my content uh, subscribe to my channel as well. And what kind of guide would you like to see? Uh, leave them down in the comments below. I'll see you guys on the next guide. Yeah.